And here on the edges, you'd run into a 150 foot wall of ice guarded by NASA employees with guns. And how far that ice goes outwards. And when people try to go down there, they get turned away at gunpoint and put in prison. The heavens are a dome. The sun, the moon, the stars, they're all just little balls of light in the sky that move around just above the Earth's surface. Found this hardware store, bought myself a level, and I'm bringing it with me on the airplane. I'm gonna do some of this empirical science myself. The logic goes that if the Earth is round and I'm flying thousands of miles, which I'm about to do, then the airplane will have to be tipped a little bit the whole time in order to make it around the curvature of the Earth. I would be able to see the tilt of the airplane if I put my newly purchased level on the tray table in front of me. Seeing all the evidence, what if the Earth actually is flat? Flat, 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 flat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the internet. Let me calm down. All right, before I get started, I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's been watching the videos. I just started this FYO thing, F your opinion, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of that here on SP Media TV and I am Midway. What I do on this channel is I review the content that we watch as consumers and I go over what we talk about in the comments section because for me, I love reading comments and I'm kind of a little. All right, where, what? All right, let me start this off. Okay, so a friend of mine <laughs> sent me, they sent me videos to watch. And uh, <laughs> it'd be some of the craziest stuff, man. They sent me a video. From a TikTok channel known as Flat Earth Truth 1983. Huh. All right. I'm gonna take my time with this one, man. Again, thank y'all for tuning in. If you can rock with me through this video until the end, that's man, that's big ups to you. Thank you for that. As I am just a small YouTuber trying to do my thing out here, just talking about the stuff I like to talk about. Uh, you can be anywhere in the world, but you chose to come check out this video, so thank you. Hit that like, subscribe, follow button. It helps the channel grow, man. You know all the hubbub about what we say about that stuff, man. Anyway, they sent me a video about Flat Earth, right? Now, before I go in on the contents of this video and the comments of this video, let me just give you my personal opinion about said relationship with this person said content that they give as well as what i feel like the people are saying about this video that they said so one the relationship i've known this person for around 10 years or so right they are a very very good person great friend of mine uh one of the nicest people that i've ever met right genuine um and we have gotten into quite a few debates uh, about religion, about science, about relationship, quite a few things over the years, right? And I started to give my input on different topics and we kind of agreed here and there. We started off on separate ends. Then we kind of came to a mutual understanding, kind of started to agree with one another. Uh, I, they presented some emotional arguments, I presented some logical ones. Uh, we began to meet in the middle. As time moved on, we started to talk less and less about these topics because we had pretty much covered most of them, right? And they knew my stance, I knew their stance, right? But then, here come the videos, right? So as the videos are coming in, they're entertaining, but as I start to look at the trend of these videos, they tend to yield more towards the pseudoscience religious type of hearsay uh how do you say 
bullshitnicals in nature, right? And so I, I'm like, okay, I think this person is either trying to troll me, one, they're trying to change me, two, or they sincerely believe this stuff and I got more work to go do. Got film? SP Media TV. Hey guys, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing and following this page. Man, it helps the channel grow. You know all that already. All right, back to the video. And the thing I was starting to get out of this was, although the content is very entertaining in nature, I started to get a little worried about my friend, right? Because the way we think, guys, determines who we are internally and how we act and how we interact with different people on this planet. So I started to get a little worried about my friend. Let me make this short. In this video from Flat Earth Truth 1983, to the lame in mind, and this is my opinion, they make some pretty good points about how the earth is flat. Now listen, now listen, we all know, I'm using the quotations because apparently we don't all know, but we all know that the earth is round. And in the universe, a cylinder is the perfect shape or representation of what gravity does to matter. Pulls it in to a center point all evenly on all sides. So of course things out in space would be represented by a sphere if you know the laws of gravity right but there's people out there that think the world and the earth or whatever you want to call it, the planet is flat okay cool, 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 cool. and again this is fyo this is f your opinion we all got our opinions we all want to be heard we all want to be right but at the end of the day it's f your opinion is what i always like to say it's just your opinion right cool but in this video, they address things like how you can prove the curvature or lack thereof of the earth. They conduct little experiments and one of the experiments they highlight the most is using a leveler on a plane. And if the plane is actually flying on a curved earth, the front of the plane will have to continuously fly at a tilted angle to compensate for the curvature of the earth and the leveler would show that the plane is tilted if said earth was actually curved cool makes perfect sense because levelers act with gravity pulling at them with the little measurements in there and the the fluid as the leveler tilts the fluid obviously goes the, the air bubble goes to the higher side right cool beans but that's if it's kind of sitting still now i may be wrong on this but that's if it's sitting still there's this thing called centrifugal force if i'm saying it correctly learned about this not as a grown man not even as a teenager but as a wee little lad in elementary school you hear me Demonstrated in class by holding a bucket full of water and spinning it around. And as you notice, even though the bucket is sideways, 45 degrees, and completely upside down, the water would not leave the bucket. Not even would it not leave the bucket, it would still remain relatively flat up against the bottom of the bucket. Why is that you say? Glad you asked. Centrifugal force is forcing the fluid up into the bucket. So bring this back to the leveler on the plane. When things are in motion, it'll alter the way the fluid functions as opposed to it being at rest. One, but even still, even still, the sheer size of the earth to us mere humans is so large that you cannot experience the curvature of the earth at a scale that they're trying to portray in the video that you would notice it being curved while flying, even though you can see some curvature of the earth at certain heights in the plane. In proportion, us to the planet is kind of like an ant 
to the dome at the Superdome. If I believe. Now, now, I could be wrong. No, no, I'm probably wrong. I, you know, it's just my opinion. I'm just throwing some relative facts out there. Relative meaning it's not really true. It's just if you want to believe it or not. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. So, it's my opinion that the earth is round. But if one is kind of teetering on that fence, this video just may sway them with that experiment. Because on the surface, it looks like it's a valid argument. So I got to think to myself, I say self. Myself said, huh? And I said, hey, all the conversations you've had with your friend, they have shown you that they have the ability to think critically. But now that you guys have stopped talking about these topics in detail like such, and they're sending you more and more of these videos, it lets me believe that if somebody who I believe could think critically could start to believe some of this stuff, that people on the fences probably believe it to be true just as much, if not stronger. So I jumped off in them comments. And let's see what y'all had to say about this video. If you hadn't had a chance to, please go check out Flat Earth Truth 1983. I'm a, I'm a person who's a fan of weird... Uh, science as you can say i like facts i like all that good stuff but i'm a fan of science fiction and in my opinion it's my opinion this whole video is nothing but science fiction but let's look at these arguments from these folk out here in these comments man now it starts off with you guys kind of in the middle ground going back and forth but mostly asking legitimate questions about the validity of if the earth actually is flat or not. So it seems like y'all had some questions. Then the flat earthers start coming in with their claims and their answers trying to shut down some of the people who were throwing shade at the people who believe that the earth is flat. Jojo starts off saying pilots have admitted the earth is flat, but they are told to be quiet. Now, see, when you say something like pilots, like pilots, are told the thing it's almost like you're insinuating that all pilots have been told this right and i have a friend i was just my personal opinion and my personal experience i have a friend of mine whose father has been a pilot for over 20 something years right now based on what she said her father says without a doubt the earth is curved it's not even up for debate now he's flown in the military for quite a while and also flown commercial jets. So I believe his word matters. Now he's just another person. You know, I don't want to go into the fallacy of argument from authority, but it seems as if his word definitely is going to override Ms. Jojo's. It's just your opinion. But just because you say that pilots have been told this, where is your proof to back it up, Miss Lady? And then as soon as I click on the reply button, the first person up is Timmy Boy talking about not a single pilot has been told to keep quiet about flat earth. Prove otherwise. They're going back and forth already. That's the point I'm making. It's like on the internet, we just say whatever we want to say without any proof. We just blurt out our opinions and we establish it as if it's fact in these comments, yo. What pilots you know that have been told that the earth is flat and they can't say nothing about it? They be on, they be on the intercoms. You have reached random airlines here. We got them. We're going to be going down and this is what you're doing. You're going down. God damn it. Uh, you got your thing in the, in the air and shit. We got goddamn uh, uh, peanuts and stuff walking through the aisle. Got them, got them good ass uh, cracker cookie things in a red package. They be getting them out and you can get some of them too. Me, you know, all that. But, uh, but the earth is flat. Shut up. Huh? Come on, man. Ain't no pilots being told that. And if they are, where your proof at? <laughs> where your proof, man? Then, then Joe Patrick comes around asking a fairly legitimate question, like I said. He says, I'm not asking to argue. I just want to know. If the Earth is flat, then why is it day here and night on the other side of the planet? And why does Alaska experience 30 days of night? So... Alaska experiencing this amount of time and light obviously has something to do with the earth being round and Alaska being near one of the poles. And with Alaska being at the pole, earth being round, the earth tilted on its axis and with the spinning of the earth, Alaska for a portion of the year will be pointed towards or away from the sun for a specific time. That's why it experiences long days and long nights 
during certain parts of the year. Now, from my opinion, this question seems to be asked because it seems as if he's posing it as a challenge to flat earthers. So what do flat earthers have to say in answering this question? And yup, you guessed it. A lot of the flat earthers couldn't even answer the question. And I kept scrolling down and I hear Killer Tay pretty much say the same thing. All these people saying the earth is flat and no one can answer that. If anything, the earth is much bigger than we've been told, not flat. Yo, this is just wild, man. Like the opinions of people when it comes to these pseudoscience as topics is bananas but y'all gotta check out some of this content out there with this scientific stuff man when it comes to flat earth it is <laughs> it's entertaining as hell yo roy's Roy says so many facts so much proof so many people still won't wake up they've been lying to us since 1913 my dude said all these facts out here and people still being duped thinking that the earth is round. Yo, where are the facts? If you talk about this spirit leveler, you got some Spanish to do, my friend. You got some Spanish to do. I swear, my friend, this is not enough fact for me, you know. It is not enough fact to prove the claim. The claim that the earth is flat and all you do is have a leveler, my friend. That I have no idea that this would not do the you need more than that, man. Got film? As for Media TV, guys, if you want some content out there about what we as the people are saying about what we view and read, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and tune in. This little old channel like me right here, just trying to grow. That's it. Back to the show. But I ain't gonna hop on this too long, man. I just wanted to share my little opinions, but yo this is what's funny as soon as that video started when i clicked on that video from old girl the first things i noticed and the first thing they said nasa guards this wall of ice that surrounds this flat earth and they holding guns and they'll shoot pop 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 they'll pop anybody that come too close and don't turn around NASA ain't out here just going to see what's on the planet Mars and trying to find more black holes. They're putting black holes in people that come too close to this here ice. Boy, shut up! Shut up! But hey, is this your opinion? Check out some of these videos, man. The Earth is Flat 1983 on TikTok, man. Tune in to the YouTube channel, man. If y'all want to see more of this, man, or oh, got some more content for me to view and want to read some of these comments and get my opinion on it, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to do so, man. Uh, but thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we all want to be heard. We all want to be right. But at the end of the day, it's just your opinion. So F your opinion, man. Like, subscribe, follow. We out. SP Media.